Ladies and gentlemen, fellow coin enthusiasts, lean in and prepare to be amazed. Today, we're diving into the world of modern numismatics with a spotlight on a remarkable find, the 2023 Lincoln Cent, a shield penny that recently commanded nearly $800 at a coin auction. This isn't just any penny, it's the newly discovered Extra V error variety. The 2023 Extra V Shield Cent stands out as a unique and valuable specimen within the Lincoln Cent series, primarily due to a distinctive minting error. An additional V has been engraved next to the VDB initials on the coin's obverse. This error, likely caused by a modification to the minting hub, has catapulted this penny into the spotlight, making it a coveted piece among collectors. With such errors occurring in only a tiny fraction of the total production, this penny's rarity makes it an extraordinary find. This pristine MS-68 gem, radiating with vibrant luster, was recently sold for $795.38, including the buyer's fee, at Great Collections Auctions. Quick reminder, if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, hit the subscribe button below to join CoinAz and stay updated on more fascinating coin discoveries. And don't forget to like this video if you're enjoying the content. If you're a fan of rare coins, you'll want to pay close attention, especially if you come across a 1937 Washington quarter. This isn't just any quarter, it's a potentially jackpot-worthy find due to its unique characteristics that require meticulous examination. Specifically, take a closer look at the obverse lettering. This particular quarter is known for its strongly die-doubled date and motto, a rarity highlighted in the Cherry Picker's Guide. Renowned numismatists Bill Fivaz and J.T. Stanton have described the 1937 FS-101 double die obverse quarter as one of the most important in the series. Graded MS-66 by NGC, this specimen shines with complete brilliance and high luster. Notably, it features raised circular laid lines on the obverse as part of its original minting process. Both the portrait and the eagle are sharply defined, showcasing the coin's stunning detail. This extraordinary coin fetched $7,800 at auction, a testament to its rarity and the keen interest it generates among collectors. If you find yourself in possession of a 1937 Washington Quarter, it's definitely worth a detailed inspection as you might just have a hidden treasure in your collection. Introducing a standout from the wartime nickel series, the 1943 P. Jefferson Nickel, graded as a superb gem at Mint State 68. This issue holds the record for the highest mintage within the 11-coin wartime series. Due to its abundance, countless rolls of this nickel were preserved by both collectors and speculators at the time. Despite its commonality in mint state, finding well-struck and highly lustrous examples is not a rarity, with 5FS and 6FS grades being quite accessible for the advanced collector. Intriguingly, this issue is also known for its numerous repunched mint mark varieties, so much so that it seems nearly every reverse die was affected. The task of punching the oversized mint marks on these wartime coins was clearly a significant challenge for the Philadelphia Mint's engraving department. This particular 1943 P. Jefferson nickel showcases a bold and precise strike, displaying a brilliant and frosty silver-gray color, complemented by lovely gold and iridescent toning. Its exceptional quality and allure culminated in a sale price of $7,500, underscoring its value and desirability among collectors. Uh, despite its high initial mintage, the 1914D Lincoln Cent is notable for having one of the smallest surviving populations among Lincoln Cents. This scarcity is largely due to the fact that most of the mint state examples still in existence today likely originated from a hoard of 700 pieces, as documented by numismatic historian Walter Breen. These coins survived into the early 1950s. Additionally, a couple of rolls of red and brown coins found either in Hawaii or the Philippines during the 1970s, according to expert Dave Bowers, have contributed to the small number of available specimens. Although some 1914 D cents are found to be sharply struck, many exhibit moderate die erosion and a resultant loss of detail, particularly noticeable in the lapel of Lincoln's coat, a part of the design that often becomes indistinct due to severe die polishing. Um, it's important to note that due to its rarity, this coin is frequently targeted by counterfeiters who either add a D mint mark to coins minted in Philadelphia or alter the date on 1944 D cents. 
Fortunately, such fakes are usually easy to detect. This particular specimen, distinguished by its satin luster and brown tone, was graded MS66 Brown by the Professional Coin Grading Service, PCGS. It garnered significant attention and was sold for $9,000 at Heritage Auctions, highlighting its rarity and the high level of collector interest in this specific date and mint mark combination. Feast your eyes on another incredible numismatic rarity, the 1959D Lincoln Cent, uniquely struck on a silver dime planchette. This error coin, graded Mint State 64 by NGC, perfectly matches the weight of a silver Roosevelt dime at 2.5 grams. This off-metal strike boasts a pearl-white appearance, enhanced by its lustrous and well-preserved condition. The minting error is evident in its alignment within the collar. The coin was struck at 3 o'clock, resulting in broad rims near this area and very narrow rims on the opposite side at 9 o'clock. Notably, the left side legends, particularly In God We, show stretching toward the rims, a distinctive feature caused by the misalignment. Despite these anomalies, the portrait and memorial on the coin are sharply struck, preserving the detail and integrity of its design. This exceptional piece, a standout among error coins, was successfully auctioned for $10,575. Its unique characteristics and the intrigue of its minting error make it a highly coveted item for collectors and enthusiasts alike. Introducing the 1961 Jefferson Nickel, a standout piece in Mint State 66 with the coveted Full Steps designation, representing a modern strike rarity. While finding Mint State 1961 Jefferson Nickels is generally straightforward, securing one with a Full step strike is a significantly more challenging endeavor. Out of over 1,300 such nickels certified by PCGS, a mere 24 have earned the full steps designation, highlighting their rarity and desirability. This particular nickel features delicate gold toning that gracefully complements its satiny gray luster, elevating its aesthetic appeal. This lovely premium gem, with its exceptional characteristics and rarity, fetched a remarkable $5,520 at auction. It exemplifies the unique allure and value that well-struck specimens can bring to any serious collection. Uh, thank you for joining us on this fascinating journey through some of the rarest and most valuable U.S. coins that have recently found new homes at auction. Each piece tells a unique story and reflects a part of our, our rich numismatic history. If you enjoyed exploring these incredible coins with us, Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insightful content like this. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video, share it with fellow coin enthusiasts, and drop a comment below to let us know which coin fascinated you the most or to share any thoughts you have about today's showcase. Stay tuned for more exciting finds and keep collecting those hidden treasures. Thanks for watching and happy collecting.